did you... You guys see like a creature come through here? I'm trying to find my creature. I think it... Oh, it did this, this way? It did? Okay. Okay, thanks. Going to find my creature now over here. Yes! Yes! I'm getting to it! I know, I know. These new sets have been out, Max. Where have you been? All right, so we've got Snow Hazard. And then we've got its counterpart, which was released at the same time, Clay Burst. Now, let me tell you, let me tell you a little something about this box. It's quite expensive for a modern day Pokemon box. Pokemon cards in their place of origin, Japan, have been going absolutely nuts. No one can get their hands on anything. You're buying this from resellers, you're definitely paying a premium. But why is this box so expensive? The waifu effect. I mean, Pokemon cards in general, still just as popular as ever, but this new waifu effect that we're seeing more and more, basically, if a set has female character, set worth more money. And this set has this card, which is actually a really cool looking trainer. That is the ultimate card that we're looking for today, but then the second most expensive card out of these sets, I believe, is still the same trainer, just the slightly less rare version. Now, I think the prices have come down a little bit, as they always do, but yeah, this trainer... Look at these prices! These are sold listings! Absolutely ridiculous to think that this comes from a modern day booster box. You would have to be mad to pay the prices that some people paid for this card when the set first came out, because they always come down. But let's see, let's try our luck. It'd be awesome if, if I get it in the first pack, I swear to God I'll stop this whole video. Just for the first pack. All right, one to the front. I still don't know anything about the set. All I know about is that card. Uh, so we've got the monkey. He's, I thought that was his leg for a second. That's his tail. Melon monkey, Jigglypuff. Generic Jigglypuff. We've got the uh, Tandem Mouse, I think that was. We've got Luxio. And we have a Casey Neistat drone. All right, we're going to alternate here between the sets. And I, yeah, again, don't know anything that's in this set. Don't know what Pokemon we've got. Hon um, honk, honk crow, honch crow. Basically, it's a redditor. Um, it's about to tip some Reddit gold. We've got the little elephant, and we have um, the replacement for this guy. He looks like he could be in the same line, really. Uh, the metal crow doesn't he? He's normal here. I think he goes metal or something. Um, and then on the end, a Bob, a Bob, a Bob, a Bob, a Snow. Yeah, you wouldn't want to get hit by one of those big meat gloves. And yeah, I guess, I guess he is definitely a snow hazard. Would not want to run into him in the snow. Uh, I've fucked this one up. Come on! We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. There it is. One to the front. Flip it around. What do we got? Heracross. We've got the little frog, we've got the little spider with the yarn for a body, and we're starting it with just a, a regular, I think? Or is that some sort of special? Oh, I think we're still just going with these art rare type things. That is quite nice. Uh, yeah, uh, number 79 of 71 above the set. AR Tyranitar Baby. You can see he's commanding an army of birds to do his bidding. I don't think I know this Pokemon either, and I look at this little creature. What is this little cretin? Have we seen him? Have I seen him on a card? Um, if you're not aware, I never played the new games. I was revealed all of the Pokemon through opening the cards, so there's still a lot, I think, that I haven't seen. And we're going for a seagull. We're going for a little surskit, little bloke. We've got a dog, and we've got the evolution of the Wingull, the the fuck, uh, Palippa. Here it is. Give it a little kiss. We need the good luck. Please send your vibes this way. Manifest this pack to be the one, the thousand dollar card. Let's get it. All right. Ah, what? What? Oh, that's right. We, we got off the E's. We're back to... Um, sorry, the V. We're back to the EX's. What the actual hell is this? 
Number 25 of 71. Yeah, so this this is uh, lower than the Tyranitar that we saw. Um, wow, I, I, it's got a, a younger evolution as well, which just looks like a, an electric maraca or something. He's kind of got like a ditto face on him. I feel like he's quite a polite gentleman when he's not this explosively upset. Uh, yeah, oh wait, wait! Those... Are those the eyeballs, or are those the eyeballs? Oh, those are- wait a minute, is that- that's nose holes. Oh, that would look so much cuter! I thought it was this kind of big, green, um, ditto-type character, but I think it's these disgusting, bulbous frog eyes. Uh, and electric frogs- oh, it's a frog? Is it a frog? Oh, wait, that makes sense, because this looks like a tadpole! Okay, electric tadpole, electric frog, I think. Alright, pretty cool. Not the waifu card, but we'll take it. I do love seeing new Pokemon still. To this day, I'm seeing new stuff. Uh, we saw him, that's like Katoddle. Maybe that's Katoddle, that's something else we've seen him before. Uh, we have a uh, motherfucking Meryl, nothing in that one. Back to the hunt! Give me the waifu. Let's see, one, two, front. Flip around. We've got this thing. We've got this little bloke. We've got this little fella. We've got no bad. We've got a Luxray. We can evolve our 15 Luxios that we've got. First time seeing him. Nice little hollow. Then we go straight back to the buffer pack. Now, it's not all about chasing, chasing that um, cheddar, you know? It's not all about chasing the money. We do like to have a look at some of these that are from the not-so-successful set. And that's okay, you know? We don't just want to see... Beautiful woman that is worth money. Sometimes we want to see Parrot. Annoying Parrot. EX. I'm sure this guy has a couple of fans out there. Oh, he's really going for the eyes slash and or jugular there, isn't he? And now back to the clay burst one to the front. Flip it around. Uh, I can't remember some... some Weird pun, Tanda Mouse into Mouse Home or something. <laughs> I actually forget. What is that? What actually is that? Is that is that like how caterpillars have a weird thing to make it look like a face? This just looks like a guy with a bulbous nose. That is, or is that its actual head? Very odd. Uh, uh, desert, uh, ruined desert. Snow! I think. I might be screwing this up. I'm trying to go 1-1. One, one. Um, last time I tried to do that, I think I did okay, but let me know. <laughs> what the f what? What? What am I looking at? Bro, that is... Okay, are these like eyes that are, that are ma made to look like seeds? This is like a, a, a husk. This, you could tell me this was a trainer card and I'd believe you. This looks like a dried out berry. Okay, okay. Mankey. Uh, that one. Ooh, ooh, something, something. That's, have I seen that before? I feel like that's a new fish. He also looks very polite. Biologically, like his body and everything, he looks like, um, quite strong and scary. Like he could do a lot of damage to a human being, but look at his little face. Doesn't he just look polite? Another clay burst. What will we get? Let's see, Raichu, oh, that's a new one. Just joking, Pikachu, that's a new one. Uh, another one of this guy! What is this? This guy does not, this looks like a character from, like, another entire franchise. It's like, a, it's like a little old man living in the woods. Or something, but he, it looks like he has four legs on him. Very unique. Uh, Fletch, Sling. And again, I don't know what I'm looking at. Is this the fucking thigh of the Pokemon? What is- can you put the whole Pokemon in shot? What is this? Okay, no, but seriously, where's the head? Is this the- is this the little- Oh, wait, I see the eyes. I see the red flickering eyes. Unless I'm stupid and we have seen- I'm- it's really not clicking what I'm looking at there. Alright. Back to the snow, one to the front, flip it around. We have Goth Mummy GF. Oh my god. See, to me, this immediately is more of an AR rare than the um, 
Tyranitar. Like, I really like the Tyranitar, but I feel like this um, artwork and style, I, I guess maybe it's the pos positioning of the Pokemon that you can tell more so. Did we not already just see an AR from a set of these fuckers eating berries? And now they've moved on to the seeds? All right. I guess we can get a, a sleeve and a hard yeah, yeah. case for these little creatures. Might as well yeah, yeah. put the Tyranitar in one yeah. while we're at it. All right, Clay, Clay Burst, I think it's called. A lot of the time, translations are a bit weird and you'll see s some sites calling it one thing and other sites calling it another. Or YouTube is calling it one thing. Ah, oh, that's, that's her, that's her, that's her, that's her, that's her, that's her. That is her. That is what we're going for. Not quite that version, but maybe it's an omen. Maybe it's to come. We've got a, yeah, a, 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 just a, like a full art, and then we've got the, like the super secret rare version of her. But in this pack, nothing but a stupid whisk cash. And back to the snow. All right, one to the front, flip it around. There's the snow. What, <laughs> what did I tell you? Don't know what that is? That looks like it could be in the same evolution line as that other thing with seeds for eyes. Very interesting. That's all, I'll, I'll leave it at that. We've got this bird, we've already got a much nicer one of that. And we have Vespa Queen, quite an evil looking Pokemon. Another clay, another day, another clay, as they say. One to the front, flip it around, don't know what that is, but I am seeing it evolves from this little weird man. Um, is it, is that like a monkey? It's obviously got weird poisonous, like lizard glob hands. That's going to secrete some sort of venom out of them. Yeah, it's sort of, it, not, not, not a monkey, but like a, one of those weird things with the big eyes or something. All right, let's see what we got next. We've got the bird and it becomes fire and there's the light bulb um, uh, tadpole thing. Cool. All right, Pineco up next and the Flamingo Pokemon. I did see this in like a promo card or something, I remember. Always happy for you guys to let me know the lore in the comments below. I like learning through my own comments. So I'm still not researching stuff, um, I'm not going out of my way, but then I read it and people, um, you know, it's kind of cool. Oh, there's this little frog from the front. He, he actually looks more cool there than he did on the front. A lot less cowardly. He's like secreting steam from his orifices. Mankey, um, and we've seen this guy. He's from a generation before, but he's very cool. Yeah, so if you see me talking about a Pokemon that I've just seen for the first time, or I'm trying to pinpoint where its eyeballs are or what it's based off, just from the card alone, feel free to let me know. Uh, Fletchling, I think. P uh, Pikachu. Desolated Desert Plain. Another one. Snow. One to front. Flip it around. We have dog. Oh! Clay! Clay! We've got a clay burst set, but this is an actual clay Pokemon. I love the clay Pokemon. I think they look so cool. We've got some actual real life cups of tea sitting around it. Okay, I'm kind of thirsty for a cup of tea. Nothing like a cup of tea! Oh, wow! What am I looking Oh, there he is. It's not a Wudo. He's very subtle. Subtle Wudo, if you will. Just sitting there blending in <laughs> with the lane of trees on the side of the footpath. Oh, I love it. I love all the negative space in these cards, in some of these cards. Like with this one in particular, they're really taking it to the extreme. That is amazing. Number 80 of 71. Everyone loves Sato Wudo. Look at him. Could you hate that face? We give him a couple of yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeffs and we move on to the next one. One to the front. Flip it around. This guy looks kind of cool. Um... He's definitely not getting any waifu points, but he looks like an all right bloke. We've got the slot. <laughs> okay, I didn't know you could turn to heroin in the Pokemon universe, but now I've seen it all. All right, that's just sad. We need to clean up these woods, you know? We need some housing for these slackoths. Wait, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. okay. Okay, an SR, an SR, the manky to the 
primate to the shadow demon. I can't remember his name, but God, he is scary. Really not a fan so much of these types of cards. But there it is, an EX in this um, just sort of a normal full art version. Sorry, I mean, there's a, there's one that's more vanilla than this, obviously. Uh, but yeah, this is the first special. Yeah, not really doing it for me. I do like shining the light on it though. It's got a, there's a whole lot of, whole lot of crazy lines spiraling around there. All right, let's burst into some clay. Also, there's a, there, there he is, there's a little frog guy. He's actually on the front of the pack. We're still yet to see this uh, deer thing, whether it's some sort of legendary or not. And it's a uh, snow counterpart, the saber tooth tiger looking thing on the other one. We got a Raichu, no man, we got Barboach. Cute little barboach, don't mind. Barboach, god damn, what am I looking at again? I have absolutely no idea. Fire fish? Uh, it looks like, um, this looks like something like my auntie would make, uh, or something, you know? This looks like it's been blown from glass. Is that a, is that's a, that's a real living thing. That's, that, okay. I'm not sure how its eyes are, again, yeah, let me know, like, how does it work? What's the law surrounding it? Why is it a thing? The back tail, it could, it could be like a normal fishy tail, but you know, maybe it turns like a turbine or something. I don't know. But anyway, fire fish, EX. Worthy of an EX, it must be kind of a decent-ish Pokemon. Let's open another pack. One to the front. Flip it around. Oh, it's the evolution of Dunspears. He looks the same, but he has an extra nodule. He's got another bulbous sack on the back. And I think um, you can get one that has two bulbs or three bulbs. One's rarer than the other. Something like that. Uh, and in this one, we're going to... Wait! Is that a dung beetle? Is that a dung beetle rolling a heap of shit? That is something... Oh, and its face is upside down. That's new to me also, I have not seen that. Jesus, okay. We're still going here. Vesper Queen, I hate that bitch. Sorry, I'm sure she's a very nice lady. One to the front, flip it around. Okay, um, it's the, um, away, come on, I'm blanking. Um, uh, Spine Ops. I have the world's biggest Spine Ops collection. I nearly forgot what he was called. He's stringing up a web there, if we can focus. What are these little holes in the side of his head there? Looks kind of off-putting, but maybe that's just because we're seeing it from the front. It'd look a bit more normal if it- that is a Mario mushroom! That is like a mushroom that would make Mario turn into like a, a rock Mario or something in one of the games. That's a Pokemon? Okay, I'm, I'm definitely going to need you guys to fill me in on that. Again, that's, that's something if it said a trainer item card, I'd believe it. Giraffe Ridge or Giraffe Ridge. We've got some nice uh, rainbow painted trees. He's taking a walk through the forest. And we've got another Luxio, sorry, Luxray holographic. Still no sign of the beautiful thousand dollar plus card. Whatever its value is at the time of film. Oh my god! What the fuck? This thing... Oh, I don't like that. It's got a, it's now, it, it's, it's got a little mouth and it's becoming more evil looking. It's like the bones of a pumpkin or something. Okay, cool. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a bunch of thorns. I, I, um, uh, yeah, I'm at a loss for words with that one. Okay. Barrel into the elephant. It's evolution, the, uh, the big one, not Qfint, the, 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 the motherfucking, uh, um, motherfucking Copperaja, I think. It's like an Indi Indian elephant. Here we go, back to clay burst, back to the lottery ticket, another crack at fortune. Here it is, spider, we've got Sneasel, we've got s the, um, flesh-like sandcastle Pokemon. The beautiful Swan S. I think this is Bombardier. Back to the snow, alternating rapidly between the desolate desert and the the freezing snow. Bird, B, very cute combi. Meryl, and again something I do not recognize, and it's so hard for me to see how this makes any sense. I'm assuming these are the eyes here on these stalks, and it, it looks like it's maybe camouflaging itself as a pile of autumn leaves, but then we've got this, 
this spindle of wood, and it's got these tentacles, which are like vines. My guess is it's some sort of Pokemon that's camouflaging itself to then leap out and um, attack its prey. Got this little thing. We've got Pupitar, I think that was. Giraffe Ridge, Giraffe Ridge. And we have a Weasel. The Sneasel has evolved. There it is, there it is, there it is. Holographic. Another one. I really feel like I've screwed this up. Have I been alternating the whole time or have I screwed it up? We've got a little Yukult. <laughs> We've got this little seed guy with a ball sack hanging off. We've got something new. Oh, the evolution of the Cowardly Frog. Well, the only art that we saw, he didn't look too cowardly. But he actually looks kind of cool there. That's so much better when he evolves. Okay, I like that guy. He looks like the kind of Pokemon that would evolve again. I feel like we're, we're missing one more. And we yes, we got the guy from the front. With the ice dagger front teeth. Look at those fangs. They look kind of out of place, like they're actual man-made weapons, like two swords that have then been left out on the porch and they've just um, sort of got icicles overnight. I'm going to have to see his counterpart card to decide which one I prefer, but I like this ice sort of going around the card as well. Surely this guy has uh, like a really cool art rare in here somewhere. Back to the lotto pack. One to the front. Let's see what we... How have I not did if I if what if if this is if I've seen this in card form I have a terrible memory because I do not remember Giraffridge having an evolution he just has a hood he's just put a hood on he's wearing like a onesie type thing to a sleepover. Okay, <laughs> that's sick. I, th I like that. And that's a Pokemon I always thought should have had an evolution. We've got the light bulb tadpole. We've got Lavatar. We've got Skip Skiploom. And for the last one, yes! Oh my god, it's a secret art rare too. Hoo -hoo -hoo! It's not just an AR, it's an SAR. And it is using the negative space. It is a very small Pokemon perspective wise. And we did it. We did actually see the guy from the front. That's that's definitely him, right? He looks very lonely, just wandering the desolate earth. That is sick. Okay. Alright, so as an SAR, uh, the rarest rarity we've got today. It's definitely taking away from our chances to get that beautiful chase piece, but that's all right. We will yeah, yeah, yeah. do some more of these packs in the future if we do not get it today, but very cool. I like that. All right. Fishing rod, slack off, overdosing, dog, love disc, bronzong, back to the death deer pack, rip it open, one to the front, flip it around. Spider Ops, we got Pineco in Nibat! And we got a Tyranitar. Oh, I, I often forget that um, Tyranitar evolves from Pineco um, into Pupitar and then into this thing. Obviously, it makes sense. Like, if you, if you look at his chest, you look at like the patternings there. But Tyranitar is such a cool Pokemon, this big Godzilla motherfucker, compared to his somewhat lame previous evolutions. One to the front, flip it around. Ugh. Don't like that. We've got Murkrow. We've got the little frog guy. What is going on with his head? What is... Has he got a butt? What is, what is that? Or oh, is that his nose? Oh, I thought that was like his swollen eyeball from the side. I thought he got in a bar fight or something. All right. Oh, then we've got like a triple prism energy thing. Another one. Another day. Another clay pack. One to the front. Flip it around. We've got the Sandcastle. We've got the Pikachu. A classic. We've got, <laughs> we've got the evolution of the Mushroom Hut. It's a... Dude, this is like a modern day, modern livable house. Um, 
This is like an apartment complex. What, like, how? How? And the, uh, it, it, this looks like something from Minecraft as well, actually. This looks like it could be roaming. This is, this is so weird. It's strange. I, I feel like, again, these are some ones that I would have heard about somehow. Not that I try to go looking. But that is also something new? Whoa! That is badass! Oh, wait, did we see a version of him that wasn't like this psychic one? Because this is like the the little cadet guy or something. Little charcoal thing. Char cadet or something? And then I feel like we've seen the, the evolution, the, this fire knight, but this is like a purple psychic version or something? I might be wigging out. But yeah, let me, let me know below. Okay. Another one. One to the front, flip it around. Snow! Another one of him, a different one. A lot of the, these little things. Um, all right, Slack Off's evolution goes to the big city. Uh, uh, what's it fucking called? V v Vigoroth? V some, something like that. Um, uh, Crow. Uh, the seed has evolved. It's got a, a lovely, beautiful mane now. Yeah, this is like a, a seed floating through the air to go propagate and land somewhere and keep the tree species alive. It's opened up, it's in full bloom. It's catching a hike on the wind. Moving on to the next pack. One to the front, flip it around. We got the bird. We got the crab. We've got the chocolateet. I'm just gonna say that I think I remember it being called something like that. We've got this little thing who has like three versions, I'm pretty sure. We've got the tandem mouse's evolution. Now has three mice. Oh, m m m mouse hold? Mouse hold, I think. Like a household of mice. Mouse, mouse hold, I think it is. Tender moss, moss of tender mouse and mouse hold. The, uh, ice cube head Minecraft penguin. This thing again, different artwork in a field. We've got the sloth, we got this guy. And we have, that is literally a worm. That is just literally a worm. That could probably be an actual species of worm in real life. That is, <laughs> guys, that is a, that, that is a worm. He also looks kind of polite, I will say. Although, if you look really closely, it kind of seems like he has something sinister beneath the surface. Like, he'll be polite to you, but there's an ulterior motive going on there. Surely this guy has an evolution. Earthworm Jim, maybe. Another pack. Back to the big money stack. One to the front. Flip it around. It's a guy. Skip Loom. Ma uh, uh, mushroom Heart. Sneasel! Is that the final evolution of Mushroom Hut? It's a full-on golem? Wait, I'm starting to think that it looks like this while it's sitting on the surface, but it has a body underneath or something like that. Eventually it emerges when it's got the full structure on top. That's the same guy, right? Like, that's the, the apartment complex here. The duplex. <laughs> Alright, um... One Piece is going to be, I think, the next video. I'm going to do a bunch of these, but for now I'm just stacking them here. Using them as the backdrop because I'm going to do three of these packs. Right? Stay with me. Three of these packs. And we're going to form one mega pack all in one rolling take. And then we're going to go through the stack. I'm excited. Alright, here we go. Clay. So go one to the front. Uh, which means that... One's the, the one on the, uh, the uh, uh, that's that, right? Correct. Yes. All right. Here we go. Oh, Numel. Gabe Num Numel. All right. There we go. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, yep. I, I can do this. I can do this. One to the front. That one goes there. Got it. Then we go through these real quick. There she is. A glimpse of fame and fortune. Ah, all right. We go through those and then we go on to the next one. One to the front, put the super stack. This is the super stack, the most for mega pack. Hercules, I mean Heracross. And in this one, nothing. Am I still pulling from the same pack here? I've still got three to go, I think. One to the front, flip it around. Ooh, ooh, new card. Okay, have we seen the evolution of that dog? I think maybe we did, but he, he didn't look as, look like this. Anyway, there you go. Okay, cool, cool. New artwork at least, Qfant, and then we've got two more to go. Sorry, it seems to be going out of focus uh, a bit much today. One to the top. Uh, Azuril! Azumarill! Slowpoke! A new, new art again, combi, and then the last 
snow pack, one to the front top. Let's uh, have a look. Boom, boom, Seskit, boom, Slowpoke by the fountain. Shall we do it? Shall we take it? Here it is, the MoFo Mega Pack. Slow reveal, nothing. Okay, that's the rare slot. Every single one of these has a chance to be something incredible. So far, I am being absolutely fucked in the ass. We're gonna go for it. <laughs> yeah. Am I, have I screwed this up? Have I, these are all uncommon. Is there, did I, um, okay. I think I might actually be disabled, possibly. No, that, that's, I, I just got shafted, right? That was the worst mofo mega, that was six packs? Okay, no, we're doing that again. I am absolutely, there's no way. That was absurd. All right, let's, let's do fast this one. Okay, we take it off. One to the front, that one goes there. Quick, boom, we go through them. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, it's the dung beetle. Sorry, I gotta stop and stare for just a little bit. He's doing a trick. All right, okay, wing gull, nothing. Clay pack, take it out, go one to the front, put that there, flip it around. We got the castle, normal, seen it, seen it, seen it. All good, all good, all good. Open this one up. Take it out, one to the front, put that there, flip it around. Oh, camera up. All right, volcano boy. Barboach, cack, fuck a duck a duck. Um, and then go around. I think we're doing this correctly. One to the front, flip it around. We're not seeing any thing shine in these stacks. So either way, if there's nothing when I go to that, I'm gonna actually lose the plot. One to the front, flip it around. Corviknight, could toddle. Berry boy, primate. Oh, what am I? Okay, 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 slacking. Okay, 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 please, 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 stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. I don't know why I did that. I have a very tiny brain, one to the front, put that up there. Don't worry, we're gonna do an extra run. Bronzong, 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 love disc. And I'm gonna take an extra clay one. We're keeping it all one take. You're following me, camera guy, one to the front, put that up there, flip this one around. And here it is, the MoFo Mega Pack. There's absolutely no way in hell this one can also be a dud. All right, we're starting off with a dud. This is a joke. This is a sick joke. This is a sick joke. This is a sick joke. That's a toxic croak. Boom. Jump off. Okay, our first hit. It's just a normal holo. This is actually incredible. This is really, honestly, amazing stuff here. I'm kind of glad I went through those 12 packs um, that way to get it out of the way a little bit quicker. Because what the hell was that? The duality of um, toxic Pokemon. All right, I think we've got one extra pack of the blue. So we're gonna go to the blue, the snow, the triple prism energy, the little steaming frog. Oh, that's making me hungry. I'd love a steamed frog right about now. All right, then we jump back into the clay. Rip it open, one to the front, flip it around. Let's see what we get. The bird, the bird is on fire. The bird, the bird, the bird is on fire. The camel, the camel, the camel's on fire. And there is, I'm feeling a blue. I think I will do a blue. One to the front, flip it around. Dog, Katoddle, Sinistee. I think that's what it is. Some, one of them is that. It's a tea. It's like a sinister and it's a cup of tea. And we've got the plant lady evolving into the plant lady, but her thighs are slightly thicker. You know what you're doing, Pokemon. A clay pack. We're really getting low on the chances to pull the Iona, but that's okay. Mouse hold. We're going to do some more in the future. Sprinkled throughout just some normal episodes, probably. And oh! What is going on with the, that's what, that's how it works? Dude, the whole head closes over it. It's not just, when it closes, like the outer teeth close. That is so cool. It's like taking the original, you've got the front, you've got the back. You've still got both those things, but now they're both up the same end. Anyway, he's uh, sort of like taking a selfie with the, the squad <laughs> who are over here, posted up in the field. Eating grain. 
I feel like these things probably, um, I feel like the, the, the one on the inside eats like grass and the one on the outside eats just meat. We have, I feel like we've been lacking AR rares really. Oh yeah, that's an AR. We've only seen one SAR. Yeah, yeah. So we should see at least one more for the blues. For the snow hazard at a minimum. All right, I'm just um, down to three. I'm just gonna scramble them up. I'm just gonna blah, 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 blah. Pick one random one, all right. It's a snow hazard. We don't have many packs to go. All right, goth mummy GF. Dung beetle. We have... Holy God! Holy God! It's the frog! It's the cowardly frog's evolution! What is going on in this artwork? Is he doing a backflip over a gorge? Honestly, look at this art. Tell me what you think is happening. It looks like he's actually doing like a ninja backflip over this hole in the ground. And he's keeping it moving. Yeah, very cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Mostly a fan of every AR that they do. Let's get this bitch sealed up. Let's get him put into plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's move on. All right, we're just doing random ones at this point. It's a blue. It's another snow hazard. One to the front, flip it around. Dog. Dog with a butter. All right, love disc. Uh, Mimikyu, okay. Didn't know he was in this set. There we go. Holographic. The Pokemon who wishes he was as loved as Pikachu, trying to trick people into giving him affection as well. It's time for a clay pack. Maybe I did open um, a different SAR and I'm actually brain dead. I'm not sure, but we don't have many packs to go to see if this fulfills, if this prophecy fulfills of getting at least one more SAR, which would mean it would have to be this pack. This pack has to be good. I think. Let's find out. I must have. I might have overlooked it. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. No. Okay. All right. Well, at least we've known that the dung beetle gets another evolution, and now it's just like Goku doing some sort of spirit bomb. Oh, look at that! It's like an old man with these like ancient white mustache. He's very wise old. The red bit being the face. You've got the nose, and then you've got these. Eyebrows and a little emblem on the forehead there. Maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe the SAR came from the snow hazard, even though it is the guy from the front of this. Wouldn't make too much sense, but I choose to believe that because I want I want something more. Please. There it is. There it is. It's not. It's just an AR, but God, there is so much going on. I feel like I'm looking at like a, a still from a promotional piece of art for Splatoon. He is just spraying and praying. Looks like he has, is it all sorts of different colored like ink or I mean poison probably that he sprays out? Red and blue at least, but then I'm seeing a, a tinge of orange up here. What a wild, wild Pokemon. Very, very sick living up to the AR name. This is going to be interesting though. Did I gloss over it, or have we only got one SAR? Unless I've put like a pack down, which sometimes happens. All right, let's let's go over this one. Okay, one to the front. Flip it around. Let's see. Monkey in the tree. We've got the apartment living in the desert. Pikachu, and we have no. Yeah, I I, I probably got to stop doing that in the early AM. All right, well, there he is. No, uh, Noibat, e e Noivern EX. I'm not sure what this giant, like, what, oh, it must be one of his moves. Some sort of green meteor storm happening. Uh, I'm pretty sure um, this counts. Like, it's there's sort of different rarities or whatever. Like, this is just an SR, um, and then this is SAR, like secret art rare. This is just a secret rare. So this has taken the place of something that could have looked much, much nicer. Uh, but yeah, we didn't really get gypped. And now it's time for Max Mofo's postcard collection. This is the segment where Pokemon postcard. We've got a stack of postcards here. I'm sort of just pulling them out from the back without having seen them. Boom! Pikachu, the favorite, the fan favorite po uh, Pocket Monsters number 25. Very sort of retro looking here. Uh, by Banpresto. I think this whole stack is by Banpresto. But that's uh, another 
postcard for the collection and it's holographic, very cool. Don't know if you can see, but the back has uh, maybe a couple of spaghetti stains on it. I'll still take it. Just means this card has been loved by the previous owner, you know? Used as a sort of uh, dinner plate. <laughs> and Max Muffo's uh, deck sleeve of the day. Here's the deck sleeve of the day. Not really a big fan of this artwork. It's kind of, I wouldn't say generic, but I don't, I don't know. It's just there. Seems like a lot of artistic choices with this just did not pan out to make the best piece for a deck sleeve. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know below. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to support me by checking out Cool Shirts, it is not my company, but using code MOFO will help me out. It lets you save 10%, and I get a little piece of that. Bunch of different clothes there. Uh, link at the top of the description should auto-apply the code and take you to their store. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.